Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. I'm having a more lovely day than you might imagine from the video that I just did, because in the video I just did, I looked horribly ill. And that's not because I ate something I wasn't supposed to, it's not because I got the COVID Ligma variant, it is because when I was turning on my camera today, when I hit the on button, I also hit a button next to it for white balance, and I changed my white balance preset. So in spite of the fact that I had a great day, I had a great workout, great meal, I looked like I was about to throw up and completely green. So moving on from that, today what I'd like to do is I'd like to shine a positive light on a company that is advertising based on repairability, which I think is cool. I think this is a milestone because I haven't seen a company do this in a really long time. Somebody was walking by. Uh, I don't know if this was a trade show or something else. Here we go. It was a BETT show. It was an um, edutech conference. And this comes from BraveDude8 underscore one on Reddit. He took a picture of this and sent it to me. This is for about an Asus laptop. It says, easily serviceable design for easy on-site servicing and reduced downtime. Ruggedized Asus education laptops have a modular construction that allows key components, such as the keyboard, battery, and thermal module and I.O. ports to be replaced in minutes with simple tools. And you can see the way that it's constructed. They showed you all the different parts, and it says modular design, constructed with easily replaceable modules for cheaper and faster repair. Anti-loosening LVDS cable, stable and durable cable connection that prevents loosening caused by shock and vibration. Easy panel maintenance, efficient maintenance that reduces time and waste. One-sized anti-falling screws, carry out essential repairs easily without fear of losing small parts. Unlike company, yeah, again, it's simple tools, so you don't have to have, I don't know, you know, special proprietary screwdrivers because some company can't be asked to use Torx T3 instead of their own proprietary nonsense. <clears throat> Maybe you know who I'm talking about there. And what I find interesting here is that they're even considering advertising this. Do I know if this is very repairable? Do I know if it's easy to buy any of these particular parts? I don't. I've never had this laptop on my desk before. And honestly, for the purpose of this video, I don't care. What I find to be a milestone is that anybody selling these types of devices is actually advertising based on repairability at all. What you hear very often is that repairability might just not matter to anybody. That's why. And I've always thought that that was nonsense. The reason that it hasn't mattered to people is because they always assumed that things are repairable now because they have been for the past several hundred years. This has just been normal. You buy something, you expect to be able to fix it, not simply throw it away when the most basic of things goes wrong with it because the company has gone out of their way to make it unfixable. So the idea of advertising that it has an easily serviceable design means that companies are acknowledging that this is an actual point in consumers' minds that is going to cause them to go with their company versus somebody else. And I think it's important to reward any company when they do something like this so that they realize, wow, we are actually seeing sales based on this. Maybe we should advertise based on repair-friendly designs and friendly repairability and friendly, you know, being friendly with technicians in the field and even third-party technicians and so on and so forth. And further, if the company that does that does well, maybe every other company will follow suit. One of the things I've said about Apple on this channel is people follow them regardless of whether they, what they're doing is right or wrong. People think that Apple's successful not because they have a decent user interface and a nice sexy store and everything just kind of works and they have this ecosystem and all that. They think that they're successful because they removed the micro SD card and the headphone jack. It's, it drives me nuts when companies copy the stupid things they do without copying the great things that they do that actually make them a successful company. But what I like about this is that a company actually thought, let's advertise based on repairability. Somebody there thought enough people care about repairability that is worth advertising. And I think that demonstrates just how much of a culture shift that we have started to create back to the old way. And there's a lot about the old way. There's a lot about, you know, 10, 30, 50 years ago that wasn't that great. But one of the nice things about the olden days is that you were actually able to fix things and it was expected when you purchased something that you'd be able to fix it. I've gotten on this channel from time to time comments saying, Lewis wants things to go back to the 1950s when, I don't know, like, you know, this group didn't have rights or this, that, and the other. Nonsense, just nonsensical trolling. But what I do like about those times, one nice thing is that when you bought something, you were able to fix it. And seeing a return to that positive element of our culture is something that honestly would not have been possible without all of you, without you demanding repairable products, without you pushing legislators, pushing companies, discussing this with your friends and family members and coworkers to the point where they care about repairability again, and without you actually providing good work to people if you're a repair shop doing this type of work, then we wouldn't be at a point 
where people are advertising easily serviceable design as something that's good. So give yourselves a pat on the back and give yourself just a little bit of credit for helping move the needle a little bit towards having a more repairable culture. I hope to see this more with many other companies, and kudos to Asus for advertising based on this. I hope they do this across all of their lines, not simply this design, this line. I hope that they're open to parts being a little bit more easily available, schematics and diagrams for boards and all that stuff, so that it's easier for people like me to service your product than it is right now. Hopefully, the, whoever was responsible for this at Asus winds up having a little bit more influence at the company, and I think that we should encourage this going into the future. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.